everyone, and welcome to another Interstellar Mother. Well, it's time to move on to my next project. This is the 125th scale Batmobile from the latest Batman movie, Batman vs. Superman. So what I decided to do is to start off this build with a preview and show you what comes inside the box. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so first we have the instructions here, and they are printed on nice glossy paper. I'm just going to flip through them here to show you what they look like. And as usual, Mobius does a fairly decent job at um, giving clear instructions on how to put everything together. And I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead here now and show you pictures they provide of a completed kit. And on these pages they also have suggestions for the colors. And this is the very back page here of the instructions showing again pictures of a completed kit. And the box includes four plastic bags. Let's go ahead and open it up. So you can see the kit includes four rubber tires which are nicely detailed. This is the first bag which uh, contains some exterior parts as well as the engine piece. And bag number two includes the main pieces for the body. This is the top exterior here and then the underside of the uh, car. And the third bag includes the interior as well as the covering that goes over that. We've got some other exterior parts as well as the seats and the instrumentation. And bag number four looks like it includes the fenders. We've got the rims. Uh, this actually looks like the dashboard. And you can tell the parts are nicely detailed. I've never been disappointed with Mobius models, so I uh, have every confidence it's going to turn out to be a very nice replica of the uh, Batmobile. And then there's one other smaller bag which includes the uh, windshield as well as the headlights. Well, I have to admit, even though I like cars, I've never been a big model car builder. It's just never been a big interest of mine. But Batmobile is always an exception for me, so I look forward to putting this kit together. should be a fun build. A um, couple other things now, regarding the color, what I plan to use is this Alclad gunmetal. Uh, I know that you can get by using blacks or a uh, dark gray, but uh, I thought it'd be a good chance to go ahead and try some of their darker colors. I've not had any experience with them. I've only had experience with their aluminum color, so uh, I thought it'd be a good chance to go ahead and try that out, so that's what I'm going to use for this build. As for lighting, I am thinking about lighting uh, some of the uh, headlights here. Uh, I've got these front to here and uh, we have the, the main headlights here so I'm not sure uh, how that's going to work. I'd have to look further into that and also I'm thinking about lighting some of the instrumentation panel in the cockpit area. As I said I'm not much of a car builder but uh, when it comes to Batmobile as I said I'm always willing to make an exception and uh, this one is of course a Tim Burton Batmobile. I built this many years ago for my son. Uh, I believe this model was made by AMT. I don't remember though but um, this was out for a number of years. Uh, it's missing an end piece now. But uh, overall, this one came out pretty well. I painted it in a gloss black. All right, so I'm ready to move on here now. Um, as I said, my goal here with this video is just to give you a brief preview of the kit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and prep all the parts now to be primed and painted, and then we'll start the build. So if you have any questions up to now, though, you can certainly contact me here at my YouTube channel or at InnerStellarModeler at gmail.com. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and thanks for watching.